Good morning, Marcus Conti reporting. Two big stories today I want to uh, bring to the uh, bring to people's attention. Julian Assange is a true pundit has reported that uh, Julian Assange that Ecuador uh, has a has a new president or something. They have a newly elected president, and they're in high level talks with uh, with uh, government officials to release Julian Assange to, to British into British custody so this is politics this well, Julian Assange is a, is a I mean he's a, he's not even an American citizen but he's an American hero for exposing the corruption in our 2016 election and he's been um, he's been holed up in in the Ecuadorian embassy in London for now you know, years right can't get out. If he steps foot out of the building, Britain is going to take him into custody, right? So everybody knows the story. I don't want to talk about the story, but I want to talk about the 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 new development that the Ecuadorian, the new Ecuadorian president, is about to sell out Julian Assange, as reported by True Pundit. You know, to 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 make their life a little easier with the U.S. government pressure, right? It's not. It's not right. I mean, you know, Julian Assange is a, is a, is a publisher. You know, who's next? You know, it's gonna, they're going to come after anybody who opposes the the view. This is totalitarianism. The very people that are railing, oh, Trump is a fucking Hitler. He's Hitler. Right? The same people. They, 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 because the because the Democrats got caught cheating in the election, 2016, and Julian Assange had his. Had his uh, had his had a big influence in exposing that cheating. They don't they don't give a shit about freedom. All they care about is power. Right? So Julian Assange said they you know, said they read the the article by True Pundit. You know, it's it's newsable. So if Julian Assange, I don't know. I always felt like he should make a break. You know, <laughs> make a run for it. You know, make a run for it. Julian, go man, fucking go, go, take off. Right? The other thing is um, the setup. I want to point out the setup with uh, with with the whole Mueller investigation. I mean, it, it, everybody kind of the gaslighting. I want to point out how the, how the gaslighting has worked, right? The 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 the, the, um, the directors of the 2016 uh, stealing of the election against stealing it from Bernie Sanders initially. And then attempting to steal it from Trump, the Democratic Party, the DNC, the DNC and the United States government, because they were they were under the thumb of the Democratic Party, Obama, Lynch. It's not just an outside organization. It's the United States government rigging elections, initially against Bernie Sanders, and then ultimately attempting to rig it against Trump and failing. Right now. To cover that, right, Mueller, that's what Mueller is all about. Mueller is a cover-up. It's a, it's a legal diversion so that for every, for every guilty party that's truly guilty, like, the Hillary, like Hillary Clinton, Comey, McCabe, Strokes, all these guys, all the FBI operatives, uh, Podesta, even Robbie Mook, the, you know, the, the Clinton's, Hillary Clinton's guy. The murder of Seth Rich, the, the, the disappearance of Eric Braverman, the, all of these, the quid pro quo, the letting Imran Awan out the back door, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, the collusion between the, D, the, the DNC and CNN media, illegal collusion with Donna Brazil and passing questions back and forth in support of Hillary Clinton, all of this shit, right? All of this, uh, you know, it, when, you, when you get down to Hillary Clinton with the mishandling of classified information and and quid pro quo selling you know selling secrets taking money into a slush fund comma slash the the Clinton Foundation and then using that money you know using the foundation a, a foundation for as a as a, a slush fund a, a money laundering operation to then give favors out the back door is really is really what the Mueller investigation covers because for every for every guilty party, for every one that we stand up and point and say, look how fucking guilty they were. Here's the evidence. Here is in their own words, 
Julian Assange gave us in WikiLeaks and, and in our own eyes, watching that the that the, the 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 election against Bernie Sanders was clearly rigged, right? That the exit polls didn't match. Two million votes, two million ballots in California got thrown in the garbage, not counted. Election called, two million ballots, not counted. Brooklyn, two hundred thousand voters purged off the rolls. So all of these facts, right? You have now you have Manafort, right? Mueller going after Manafort, right? Right for for a fake Russia collusion story, right? See, it's a it's it's a it's a, a legal scapegoat. That's what Mueller is and always has been. That's why he's got to go. There's no evidence of Russian collusion, but what they're doing is they're using that investigation to give immunity to all of the fuckheads that stole the election in 2016. All for every for every guilty party on the Democratic side, Mueller will go after. Someone on Trump's team. Trump is Trump is not the opposition. The American people are the opposition. The voice of the American people, are the opposition. It's not Trump. Trump is, you know. So so now you've got Tony Podesta getting immunity, right? So Tony Podesta is is, is you know his brother, you know John Podesta, it works for for now. He's a, he's a CIA operative. He works. He's a, he's a publisher or he's some kind of high official at the Washington Post. Wholly owned and controlled by the CIA. Right. I know to a lot of facts. I, I, you know, people that watch this and don't follow the events would think that, that you know, I'm, I'm some kind of conspiracy theorist. But it, it's, it's just the evidence. The evidence in the record. When, when, when John Podesta gets immunity, right? These are guys that rigged an election. These are guys that 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 were deeply involved in quid pro quo, deeply involved in in that information that was likely leaking from from Imran Awan, the the spy ring in Congress. It, it's it's not even a it's not even a theory anymore. Right? Charles Hotel has done the work to to show us exactly where the how the money flows into the Clinton Foundation you drop a million dollars in there Saudis drop a million dollars in there and you see the favor come out the back door right you see the 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 you see how the information was being sold it's all documented it's all proven so Mueller is is an opposition side of that to protect those people right because they're still in control they're still in power right 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 if you if you start if heads start rolling and the story, the true story is, you know, people get indicted for that true story, then you have to indict everybody, Lynch, uh, Obama, Comey, McCabe, Strozak, Strokes, whatever, right? So that's, what, that's what's going on right here. So, you know, Julian Assange, that is a tragic story of a guy who doesn't have political might or muscle behind him. He's just a guy, just a publisher. And Paul, you know, poor Paul Manafort who got caught in the crossfire, right? Paul Paul Manafort got fucked, right? He, that's the, the shit they're holding him for happened 12 years, uh, you know, in 2011. It has nothing to do with the 2016 election. All right, so my name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, reporter here on YouTube, candidate for the United States Senate. Don't get gaslighted. Keep your eyes open. Don't be gaslighted. Peace out.